Congratulations, Tommy. Uh, Thank you. Whoa, uh, really, what happened to you as a young child? <laughs> I lived in northern Norway. It's, it's dark and cold there. <laughs> <laughs> and so you had fairy tales to think about that you wanted to see in the future. Yeah. yeah we, actually, I loved fairy tales growing up, and I had them on my cassette tape, and I listened to them to death. And it's, it's, uh, it's very dark and twisted, those fairy tales, if you listen to them today. It's, you know, gory stuff. They totally are when you really think about them. Yeah. Like, kind of scary stuff. But what was it about Hansel and Gretel? You thought, I want to see what's going to happen to these two kids that have been held captive by a witch. What would happen to them in the in the future? Yeah, no, it's, it's a natural progression. I, I mean, I like I said, that was my favorite fairy tale, and I, and I listened to it a lot when I was lying in my bed as a kid. And it, it's kind of, if you think about it, yeah, it's what happened to them. You know, what would that event have done to them, to their heads and to their souls and whatever and it just kind of almost feels like a natural progression yeah there's no question that they you know they wouldn't be badass as they are yeah. for sure yeah. and your casting choices I thought were great and I want to start with Gemma because she's the kind of girl where you see and you know she was a bond girl and she's all you know but man does she kick butt in this how did you foresee that she was going to be able to take that on well I saw a movie that she did called The Disappearance of Alice Creed she did in England which I thought was a brilliant movie and she did an amazing job in it and yeah, a part of big part of Gretel is the ability to kick ass, and 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 she just sold it. I mean, it's it's it's, it's such an important part of the film and, and, the, and the story because she actually is the brains of the of the uh, of the duo. Yeah. You know, he's the loose cannon; she's the one who actually thinks twice before she does anything. And yeah, she has that elegance, and she has that matureness, but she also has this dark side that we we had fun tapping into. Yeah, and then of course Jeremy, who is you know wants to do ninety nine point nine percent of his own stunts. Yeah, does that scare you as a director when an actor comes on? No. <laughs> I'm from Norway. We, I mean, I didn't barely had stunt doubles in my movie, so we throw them in everything. So I, I, I like it. I, of course, I, I see the producers getting a bit nervous, uh, but uh, I, I, I always loved it actually. Yeah. So what was it like to work with somebody like Jeremy Renner, who you know, you know, coming into this, that he's gonna really give you his hundred and ten percent. Yeah. No, amazing. And uh, you know, I saw her, the Hurt Locker, on the plane over when I start, was supposed to start casting the film. And then when I landed, I said, well, this is it. He's amazing. He's what we need for Hansel. And luckily, he loved the script. And yeah, he's just been a blast to work with, really. And, and he gives everything. Yeah, any uh, major injuries? Or the U.S. have had a lot of challenges on this because there's a lot of great CGI and stuff, but... Yeah, no, and, and we, tried to, we tried to get as much as we could in camera, and I'm, I'm a big advocate of that, to not, to not use CGI when you don't have to. Of course, that puts a lot of pressure on them and the stunt doubles, but I think they... Went through it pretty unscathed. Uh, stunt doubles got beat up, though. Yeah, well, that's okay. That's what they get paid for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's no no problem. <laughs> I'm wondering, you know, growing up in Norway, as you say, I, I was wondering, who was it? Was there a director or somebody that influenced you to, to say, I would like to do this for my living? Um, well, uh, there's plenty of them, of course, but I, I, I was a huge fan of Peter Jackson and Sam Raimi growing up in their early movies, The Evil Dead and Dead Alive and Bad Taste, and how they mix gore and, and horror, but with tons of humor. And not just humor, but their own brand of humor, their quirky sense of humor. And that was always an interesting combination for me, and I, I just fell in love with that. So we try to do it here as well and have fun with it. Yeah, I really did. I, I love the part when Jeremy Renner takes out the needle and he's got diabetes. From you. That was brilliant. There's a lot of good stuff in this, and you did a very good job. Congratulations. Oh, nice you. to talk to you.